hi guys welcome back to my channel um i wasn't actually planning on recording this video i'm actually packaging journals that are going to be shipped out tomorrow but i thought let me just explain this page here in the 2022 um saving challenges just so you understand and if you want to start setting it up um and then you know what to do okay so basically with this page here it is sinking funds and you're probably asking yourself what are sinking what are sinking funds um i wrote a simple explanation here to say in a simple um summarization a simple explanation it is having a plan for your future and taking baby steps to reach a bigger goal so for example for christmas this year i saved five thousand rand but i didn't just save you know i didn't just take up five thousand rand and put it away i actually saved every single single month um, so what you can do is choose the actual sinking fund so if it's Christmas like it's 1,000 Rand for Christmas and then you'll be like okay how many months do I have left up until Christmas so if you look at January for example you only have like 11 months up until Christmas just because you need the money by end of November so that you can use it in December so then you're going to take 1,000 and divide it by 11 and then that's how much you need to save a month so it's basically just a guide um, so I'm going to share some of the sinking funds that I will be doing I made an example here with the 12,000 Rand for a car deposit maybe you want to deposit a car uh, putting away a thousand a month for the next 12 months which will help you reach your goal at the end of the year okay so that's basically singing funds just a little bit at a time so let's start with my seeking funds just so you see what i'm talking about and then maybe it's going to assist you with creating your own seeking funds as well so the first one that i'm going to say for of course is christmas so what you can do is also ask yourself what is something that i spent so much this year on that i wish i budgeted for so if it's a birthday put that down if it's christmas put that down if it's um a house um, expense or anything if you own a home and you know that every month you pay um a levy or whatever it is start planning for it and saving for it a little bit of a time and then when the time comes that you need to take out that money it's already there it's not coming from your income okay so it is christmas um also secret center at work we do something called secret center so i felt secret center this year because i didn't save for it um also kb's birthday so these are not big things honestly it's just things i don't want to um when i get paid to then oh no and now i have to take out 600 rand to go out to kb or uh buy him a present Skala's birthday Skala is my daughter and then my mom's birthday was also something that i wish i had planned for a little bit um, longer um also the 10k challenge i'm going to add it here just because it is 450 that we're going to be putting away um, each month for that 10,000 at the end of the year, which I want that 10,000. And if you want that 10,000, join the saving challenges. The link is on my uh, profile down below. You can grab your challenges just for 50 Rand. Um, and lastly, food stamps. So, what are food stamps? It's basically what we do with my family. We buy food stamps every single month. And at the end of the year, we use those food stamps to buy the food for Christmas. Okay, goal amount. For Christmas, I want to save around 2530 that's just Christmas, um, and then Secret Santa, I want to save around 300 Rand, usually they give us 200 Rand to, um, as a limit, but I want to save around 300 Rand just in case I want to add more things, you know, to add on to the gift, um, KB's birthday. 600 rand is what we spent this year so i'm gonna budget 600 rand for next year as well skyla's birthday i'm also gonna budget around 500 rand like she's just three you know she just wants a birthday and you know sometimes to go out and it's nothing expensive my mom 800 rand that's how much i spent this year for her cake and her perfume she loves perfume so that's easy 10k challenge obviously um 10 000 rand but divided by two because there's two of us it's me and kb that are doing it so it's going to be basically 5 000 rand for me uh food stamps is 1 000 rand 
okay so when is this actual event here due when do you need this money here so christmas obviously we need it on the end of november so we're gonna say 30th of november secret center um secret center is in november at work so i'm going to say i need it on the 31st of october uh, KB's birthday is in July, uh, beginning of July, so I need the money on the 30th of June. Skylar's birthday is in May, beginning of May, so I need the money on the 30th of April. My mom's birthday is in the beginning of November, so I need the money on the 31st of October. Uh, the 10k challenge, we're going to... Um, put the money together and see how much we saved in December. So I'm just gonna say December and Food stamps December as well because yeah, we use it for Christmas or sometimes for January You know how January gets they call it January because it gets a little hectic <laughs> um, So how many months do you have to go? So this is when you actually calculate so um, so when you start your sinking funds, which is obviously next month in January, you're going to ask yourself, how many, how many months do I have left up until November? So obviously for November, it's 11 months. For October, it's 10 months. For June, it's 6 months. For April, it is 4 months. My mom's birthday, uh, October, 10 months. The 10K challenge, we've got a full 12 months. Food stamps is also a full 12 months. Okay, now you know, okay, how much do I need to save every single month? So how do you do that? Let me grab my phone. And then we go on the calculator. Okay, so 2530 divided by 11. 230 is how much I need to put away every single month. Cool. And then 300 rand divided by, oh, sorry, by 10. So it's 30 rand goes into Secret Center. And then KB's birthday, 600 rand, oh, divided by 6. 100 rand needs to go to KB's birthday every single month up until his birthday for Skylar's birthday 500 rand divided by 4 so 125 rand my mom's birthday is 800 rand sorry guys I hope you can see uh, divided by 10 so it's 80 rand goes to my mom's birthday 10k challenge is obviously 450 as per the challenge um, it's all in here all in this package and food stamps, we said 1,000 Rand divided by 12 months, 45.4. So I'm just going to say uh, 50 Rand, right? Did I divide it right? That doesn't look wrong. Divided by 12. <laughs> I knew it looks wrong. Okay, let's say 90 Rand. Okay, 230. Now you're going to add all of this together. 230 plus 30 plus 100 plus 125 plus 80 plus 450 and then plus 90 so you need every month you need to 1105 that's how much your savings will be so when you get your income you know 1105 rand is already going into savings then you're obviously going to um, separate it like this. If you're going to use cash envelopes, you know you're going to withdraw 230 and put it on your Christmas cash envelope. So what I created as well, um, it will be on the shop by tomorrow, hopefully, are these ones. But there are um, some envelopes that are available with the package as well that you can use for these seeking funds. Um, this Christmas one. So the 230 can go in here, um, secret center, uh, you can probably put it in the piggy bag if you want to, birthdays, we've got these ones, um, 10 can challenge, so it's me and KB, so maybe we can use this one, yeah, because it's both of us, um, but if you want to use the piggy bag one again, so with every single journal that you buy as well, guys, you do get, oh my god, everything's a little bit far you do get a uh, piggy bag envelope which is nice you can decide what you want to use it for um, so yeah 
you just now have a bit of a guideline of how much you need to save every single month and what is going where and every single savings has a home every single savings um, has a purpose so you're not just putting 230 away you're putting 230 so that on christmas you are not stressed trying to um you know take care of your bills and also take care of christmas everything is planned for you you're going to enjoy your christmas and it's going to be so much more fun and you probably ask yourself why did i do this um sooner so yeah, and the reason why we give our savings a name so that whenever you want to use this money, when you get tempted during the month or whenever you want to buy something and use this money, you're going to know that, okay, I'm taking money away from my Christmas. I don't want to do that. I don't want to have a stressful Christmas. Or if I want to use uh, the 450 of I don't want to put it away or whatever the situation is, I'm taking money from my 10,000 at the end of the year. You're going to feel so accomplished when you saved 10,000, when you can go on vacation with your friends or when you can go on that honeymoon with your man that you've been planning or when you can have your wedding or deposit your car or buy that laptop or whatever it is that the 10K will assist on you're not going to feel okay when you use that money because it has a name that's the reason why we give our savings names okay i hope this video helped um i didn't want it to be too long obviously i'm going to come back and show you how we use the graph as well but these are my sinking funds and this is how much i'll be putting away every single month every time i put away the 230 rand for the christmas saving i will color in a christmas tree as you already know um it, but it starts from 150 don't go less than that um yeah and obviously the 10 rand challenges and the 20 rand challenges um that's i'm not going to add it onto here because i'm going to save for that as i go whenever i use cash and i get some change i will save for that as well ah <laughs> okay i don't know what to say anymore um if you want the journals they're still available i'll leave the links below and if you want this um package over here 2022 saving challenges and start setting up your 2022 to be a success financially i'll leave the link down below as well thank you so much and i hope you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up subscribe share it with a friend share it with someone who you want to who you want um, them to do the 2022 saving challenges with it could be your mom could be your auntie could be your sister could be your husband your boyfriend your girlfriend and you guys are going to be so prosperous next year it's going to be so much fun to do the challenges together uh yeah see you on the next video i'll be uploading a vlog probably after this or maybe tomorrow of me just packaging and sending the books to everyone's kind of cool vlog to watch bye